Welcome back to a, another full episode of Gloomhaven with Hit Point Hunters. You're in luck if you're on the treadmill. This is a full episode. <laughs> I like that. I like that call out. Mm -hmm. If you're watching us while you're exercising. Thank you. Uh, this is because we did hit that 70 likes in the previous full episode. Mm -hmm. um, I have returned and we are ready to combat Jexera in this mission. So we've got a lot of bookkeeping that we want to cover first in our town. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are bringing our four main characters. Morgana, Turok, Cat, Kat, Kat and, Ebenezer. and Ebenezer. So this, these are tried and true, as they would say. So the Brute is going out on this mission, Turok, uh, in hopes that it will complete his story. So now his, his story was the Goliath toppler he knew he needed to defeat bosses that was his life's goal to mm -hmm. defeat four bosses so we've got three down hopefully jexra will be the fourth and we'll unlock this crazy looking mask figure it looks like a goliath type it does a stone goliath right. kind of so head because he knows that he's going to go and fight jexra he went and spent some of his money well first of all all of us blessed all of us blessed all of us are level five, so we all get an additional item. Correct. Uh, and we are one point away from increasing our prosperity again because of the blessing. Awesome. Which is great. Mm -hmm. So Jexera, he's going to, oh my goodness, Turok's going to fight Jexera yes. with her own power by buying the Ring of Skulls for 50 gold. This allows him to summon a skeleton, but this time it's going to be a good skeleton. Do you know a name of a good skeleton? I was going to say Casper, but that's the friendly ghost. So, no. Who's a good skeleton? I don't know. I was just asking you. Oh. Casper. Skelly. Casper Skelly. No, we'll just name him Skelly. Okay, Skelly. Skellywags. Skellywags. Okay. That's what our skeleton name. Right. Skellywags it oh, okay. is. All right, so th that's his one item. So he did have to spend that. Morgana actually had a minor power potion, remember, because... She replaced the minor power potion with the major power potion. So instead of spending the money on another item, I'm just going to bring the potion. I don't think I ever sold it. I'm almost positive. I no, did. Ebenezer sold it. He sold your His. health one. So uh, she's bringing that out. She's got a plus two and a plus one. Uh, but what she did spend her majority of her money on, a hundred gold she spent, was to increase... He didn't tell me this. Impaling Eruption. So it does plus one damage. So this is the one that can hit four people. So it's for four damage. And now I can use that. So I can do six damage to four targets. Pretty amazing. Uh, okay, that was a good spend. I'll, right? I'll let. 100 gold because it was multiple targets. It was double the price. Mm, wow. So she's down to 17 gold. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, your two item purchases. I uh, already had the Curious Gear, if you remember, we got that in a city or a story event, didn't we? might have we? got it from a story event. It was, yeah, it was a road event. Didn't we go and get something? We I... helped somebody, we yes. helped somebody out. And that lets me disarm all traps within range too. Amazing, because I don't have to bring in the trap card now. And Ebenezer is getting the major power potion um, that we got for from the free highlands. from the highlands. So you're the yes. one that's owning that up. Yes, and he is also equipping his uh, pendant of dark packs, mm -hmm. which lets him regain which he regain two items, yeah. which is pretty good. Okay, now since all of our characters technically leveled up, real quick, I added a plus two uh, into my combat debt from Morgana, and she has the engulfed in flame new card that's coming out. That's her level 5 that's going into her deck. Uh, I picked it mainly because the top portion, it's an attack 4 card, range 3, and I don't have to discard it. Turok, he removed the minus 1 and added a plus 1 into his deck, and is bringing the Whirlwind. Now the top is pretty sweet, hence Whirlwind in any game is pretty cool. Attacks really anyone adjacent, but I really took it for the bottom, because it's a move 4, and then I can push somebody 3 spaces. So maybe I can run up and push an enemy like into a trap, or just get him out of the way. So that's really why I picked World One. Okay, Scoundrel. She added plus two 
poison draw again cards. We awesome. love that poison. Um, and she picked the, uh, what's it called? Visage, Visage of the Inevitable, which is really for the top one. She can kill a normal enemy. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, because now we're going into level three and missions. And it's not a discard. Right. Level three missions, awesome. guys are going to have more health, so even just a normal guy, just to wipe him out, you don't have to get rid of it. I like it. Amazing. Uh, Ebenezer, he added two plus one draw again cards. Mm. Another amazing one. And his um, level five card is Mass Hysteria, which is, I think I might have mentioned this in another video think you might before have. um he has um he, the ability now to have two augment cards right yeah you in did. play at once but it's going to be a little tricky because augments are cards that have to be taken out of my hand right so it's going to reduce my deck size yeah you might not want to do that right in the beginning right but towards like but a towards boss fight yeah you have your attacks do a lot of yeah. Attack, so pretty um, cool. I don't know, I even like the top one. You yeah. You can muddle four targets. I can muddle four, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, so like I said, we all blessed. Uh, so we are doing our town event. City event. City event. You want to do city or road? Oh, I'll do the road. Okay. City. After resting for the evening, you start out your day noticing a great number of prominent commanding posters around the city. Mm. Reading one, you learn that the sanctuary of the Great Oak is laying down the foundation for a new building on the east side of Gloomhaven. I like it. I like uh, new buildings. Okay. Everyone is encouraged to come and help. This could be an important community event. Oh, it's like a block party to help kick off some construction. Okay. <laughs> Go Break help breath. lay the foundation. Absolutely. Take the opportunity to steal some valuables in the area while people are distracted. Don't even ask me. Okay, just read You're it. stealing. Get out of here. We are helping I will flip this table. the neighborhood. Yes, we are what helping. What is the our um, reputation? Didn't we gain some? We gained one last time. All right, so we're at seven right now. Oh, minus two to shops. People that have bought things. Turok gains two gold back. We always forget that. Nice. Option A. Ready, go. Whoa. Whoa. Amidst a great deal of reverie, you put all you have into laying the foundation of the sanctuary. Great, we're going to be exhausted, aren't we? Surely, much good will be done here, healing the sick and wounded. Oh, okay. After okay. all your exhaustive efforts, mm -hmm. though, you might end up being their first patient. Lose one check mark. We all lose a check mark. Okay. Gain one reputation. Gain one prosperity. I call that a success. Okay. Okay, so uh, reputation brings us to plus eight. Okay. Wow. Uh, prosperity goes up, I think. Let's take a look real quick. I thought you said we're one away, right? Well, we were one away for paying for the blessing. Okay, now with the check mark, we are technically one away from level three. Okay. So the next time we go and bless, if we bless 10 gold. Put your boogers on that board. Whoa! <laughs> then uh, we can go to level 3 and we unlock new items. Cool. Pretty cool, right? Wow, that happened fast. Check mark. We've got to record our, uh -huh. our money changes. So that's good. And we've got a new building in town. That's super nice. That we could go to when we're wounded. Well, I, and then we get rid of this card. Okay. Okay. All's good. All's good. Road event. Now, we are going to go hopefully fight a boss, so let's not save any puppies, let's not... I think we liked saving that puppy. I don't remember. Road event 23. A knapsack and a walking stick on the side of the road catch your attention as you pass. It's a trap. You look around and see a man squatting in the bushes a small distance away. Honey, 
He's going to the bathroom. Oh, hello, he says. Good timing, actually. You wouldn't mind grabbing me some leaves, would you? He really... It's... I'm sorry. He's really going This to might not be for younger viewers. It seems I've made quite a mess over here. A. Bring the man some leaves. B. Grab his stuff and run off while he's indisposed. <laughs> Okay. okay. You know what's okay. getting pretty okay. good though? Let's you could this up you could really it. play this game as evil characters. Not evil, but your reputation could go down. Why because didn't you could just... the guy bring over leaves if he knew he was going to the bathroom? Well, maybe he didn't know how bad he had to go. Or maybe he had like two leaves and it was just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm a usually a it's two... It's a five-leaf job? Yeah, I'm usually a two-leaf type guy. I think you should know that before you go over into the bushes. Well, honestly, if you asked me right now how many leaves I would take, I would have no idea. Because I haven't counted the number of leaves I've used. Okay, we're going to give this poor guy some leaves. Okay. Because we've all been there before. Am I right? Uh, no, I don't think we've all been there. Alright, option A. You gather up a handful of leaves and walk over to him. If you weren't quite sure what was going on before... Oh my gosh, take the kids out of the room. The smell definitely confirms it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, he says cheerily. Sometimes nature calls, am I right? You cough in affirmation and quickly move on. No effect. Well, and is it going to discard? It is a rip-up. Okay. So no that was... Hey, nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened, and this guy now, his pants are clean. Let's hope. Well, yes. Yes. Let's go. All right, so we are going to now set up uh, getting into Jexra, and we will read you the story. All set up. Ready to go. Let's do it. Let's see what... Uh... The Necromancer Sanctum. Our goal is to kill Jexara. Well, I don't see her out here, so... She's not in the She's first room. She's not in the first room. Shocker. Spoiler alert. One thing is for certain, you would never have found Jexara's lair without help. Deep in the Dagger Forest, you have become... You would have become hopelessly lost hours ago, if not for the detailed directions you carry. After various twists and turns, you find yourself staring at an ancient mausoleum hidden in the growth of the forest. A massive tree trunk mostly blocks the entryway. This building must have been built ages ago and was long forgotten by time. You squeeze past the tree trunk into the dark halls of the tomb. Too many, too many Big Macs. I'm just squeeze through. You light a torch and sit silently, listening for sounds of inhabitants. It is faint. But to your left, you hear a shuffling sound. You move closer and open a set of stone doors. Ahead of you, the torchlight catches shadows of the living dead. It looks like Jexara is hard at work rebuilding her army. She's a necromancer herself. Let's light these guys on fire. I uh, forgot to hand these cards Oh up. my goodness, we you have totally those. did. Holy moly. Okay, do that one, and hopefully I remember to take pictures of these at the end. Oh my goodness gracious, okay. That's a 50-50 yes. on her. Not so bad. Probably not going to happen here, but it's better than the other one that I had. Uh, so here's the first room. Well, she decides on her cards. We've got some uh, living um, living bones here, and we've got some cultists. Now, the only thing we're worried about the cultists is they have a card in their deck which allows them to actually summon more living bones. So that's, that's the most scariest thing now because uh, we are in a level 3 dungeon, and everyone has more health. So these skeletons have 7 health and 10 health, both with one shield. So uh, everyone just went up in. I have a question. Okay. Does a stun trap cause damage? It doesn't. It just stuns? 
It just stuns you. Correct. And stun means you can't attack. Stun. Yeah. Like for us, it means that you have to like long rest your next turn. You can still long rest. But a turn you just don't do anything. Okay. I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay, these are my discards. Get them out of here. Oh, they're out. Them. Okay. 35 and 44. Come on. You know me. I'm going early. 6 and 8. 8 and 12. Okay. Close. Uh, cold this 27, 64. Okay. 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 Here we go. You're up. Ebenezer to the rescue. Attack two, range four, mobilize this guy. Okay. Okay. Let's get this started off right without any curses in our right. decks. We just have two um, blessings. Yeah, we have blessings in here, which is good. Plus one. Okay. So that's two, three. three. Okay. Two. Two. And he's got armor. One, one damage and immobilize. Now, can you tell me what number that is? That is number three. three. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Better than a cancel. Okay, from where he is, he's also going to do attack one, range two. Oh, you're, punch, you're pumping Stun. out the damage. Stun. Stun this guy. Ready? One, two. Two. Three. 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 Three, three and a stun. And, and a can shield. you give me a, two. so two, can you give me a an ice? I can. Chili ice. Okay, and so number so, one. Uh, number one. All right, that okay. gives me two experience. Thank you very much. You're it's a welcome. A good, uh, good character to have. Again, the mind thief. I think it still might be my favorite character. Wow. Yeah, I think you... now the scoundrel is definitely my hmm. my favorite. Um, Twelve. Okay. Twelve. Get ready. I think this is the first time I'm using the bottom of this card, which is a pull two, range three. This is the bottom of my invisible card, the smoke bomb. Okay. She's going to pull this sucker right over here. Whoa. Don't worry. What are you throwing to pull her? I am using my brand new, exciting, level five card called the Visage, Visage, vi Visage, I don't even know what it is, Visage. of the inevitable. Visage. I can kill one adjacent normal enemy that is adjacent to none of its allies. Uh -huh, I pulled uh -huh. him away. I see what you did there. And also adjacent to any of your allies. Guess what? Everyone is my ally. He's dead. Wow. You did a get over here move from what game? Get over here. Come on. You were like 20 when this game came out in the arcades. I'm kidding. You were probably like... Four? T Twelve. Get over here! I don't know. Tetris? Cute. Alright, seriously. Why would you say Tetris? I don't know, because I would think of the most ridiculous game. I have no idea what this is. Get over here. It's a fighting game. Uh, Street Fighter. Close. It's not. I don't know arcade games. Well, I know two. Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Mario Kart. Okay. Good job. Okay. Hey, you killed somebody, and this guy stunned any mobile. I killed him. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Why don't you, yeah, get down on one knee for That's me. actually Thanks. really good. Why would I get down on one knee? And say you're amazingly beautiful. Okay, Take moving on. Ring. Next are the cultists. Uh, 27, they have three movement. So, one, two, three. Oh, great, but is it... No, they're they're melee. Yes. Okay, well, that's all of them. Uh, next is the brute. He's going to jump, like so. Create some wind. This is his acrobatic wind move which then I follow up with my skewer attack to eat that wind. Uh, so it is four damage, pierce one. So I don't have to worry about the stupid armor of the skeleton. Okay, I like it, I like it. Number one. So this is number one, four. Two damage. He's 
stunned again. Again, double stun. Okay, four damage. Straight I'll take on. it. And then on number three, so four, four, five damage. Six. Whoa! Yeah, so they each dead. have six damage to them. Okay. Good. Pretty good. And again, experience. Okay. Uh, the last is the mage, right? Mm hmm. So she. Uh, oh, wait, what's her number? 44. Oh, well, the living bones can't go, so yes. Right. So I'm going to use my new level 5 engulfed in flames. Like you awesome. said, let's burn some of them. Let's burn these. So range yeah. 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to hit this guy because he has how much left? He's got 4 health left. This does 4 damage. You can't target 4, range 4. It's only range mm -hmm. 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try and kill him. Okay. I need a plus 1. Well, it's a little bit more than a plus 1. Darn. Put that money down. And I create some. Yeah, but point. that wasn't your. Yes, no. that is. No. Oh, that is. it is your blast. Yep. And then I'm just going to use the bottom to move to and pick up some oh, money. Oh, okay. Just pick up some money. I see how it is. Yep. I do all the work. You buy all the games. That's how it, that's how it works. Uh, that's. The end of the round. Yeah. I think we did pretty good. We got rid of two skeletons. Let's not get cocky, but yes, I'm I think not we did pretty cocky. good. I am not. It's just now we got these cultists that we need to handle very quickly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you ready? Ready. I'm a number three and a number twelve. Wow. I wonder what it's like to have nice slow numbers. Twenty-seven and thirty-six. She has like two high numbers, but I never oh, use here them. Here you go. Cultists. Summon living bones. Okay. That's the roughest one. Okay. And, um, the only one's got a 45. So here's the thing. If we can kill or stun these cultists, which I didn't pull any stun cards, because now it's just, now it's more guys we have to kill. I don't have stun. Okay. I have a muddle. Muddle's not going to help. That is all I can give they you. They don't attack at all this turn. They just create horrible, horrible things. Okay, well, let's just see what we can do. Okay, Scoundrel's moving to three, four. Okay. And she's gaining advantage on this attack. Okay. She is going to attack the big guy with a Venom Shiv. Oh, we might be able to kill him. Attack, three, four, five, and a poison. Five damage. All right. There's nothing else I can do. To bump that up. Nope, this is it. Poison. Already poison. Okay, so three. Attack three. Three and a poison. And I gain a curse, right? Nope, it's when it attacks us. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you had advantage on that attack. Didn't you mention your advantage? I did have advantage. Okay, so oh, this so is... So how do you have advantage? Move four, gain advantage. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, so this counts as one, right? Uh, how does that work? Because this is still the same draw. So now I draw again. Wow, how I always forget this. Um, I think it's when it's an advantage. I know when it's a... Well, regardless, he's being poisoned. I think so. he just gets poisoned. I think he just gets poisoned. Hold on. I'll... Oh, because you're saying this is my first draw, yeah. even though it's... Yeah. Triggering a second. See, that doesn't make any sense because this is technically one, and then I should be able to draw again as my second. I know, I know. Okay. Why don't you uh, just go to your next one while I? Uh... Okay. Well, I gain an experience for that, regardless of what happens, um, and I gain a coin. So now Ebenezer's gonna go with a move two, and he's gonna use his brand new five card, which is Mass Hysteria. I attack one. Oh, wait, where was I here? Is he gonna go here? I don't I can go anywhere. Yeah, but that's probably where I will go. Cause I could melee attack him with Ebenezer for three for three. I need you to kill that skeleton. Oh, you're right. Okay, so let me bop over here. Use mass hysteria. I, it gives me an attack one range four. I get to target four people. And they all will be muddled. 
So let's start with the skeleton because that's the one that has one health left. Attack one, plus one, attack two. Oh my gosh. Three. The skeleton is dead. That's all I need. Nice job. Okay. Unfortunately, that's not the big guy. Okay, so now I'm going to attack the big guy. Attack one. Zero. Which is actually, you know, he's got... Oh no, they don't have shield. Good. Okay, so now we're attacking number three for one damage and muddle. So number three, one damage, and we don't have a muddle token, but that's all right. And then the last guy is number two. Two times two, four. Four damage on number two. Well, all right, so I'll take that. Half of his health is cut down. And now two, well actually no, all three guys are muddled. Let me get that token. Okay, and then Ebenezer is going to put down his power core right over here. Okay, I got it. Sorry, are you in the middle of something? Nope, I'm done with Ebenezer. You keep drawing. This is your main card. You keep drawing another main card. That gets added to this. Don't worry about it. Put two more damage on him. I didn't put any damage on him yet. Okay, so it was five. Total five? Five, yep. And now they're all modeled. Yeah, you all the rolling modifiers get added to the one card, whichever one is. We're better. gonna need to write that down in a cheat sheet because I know. yeah, it always comes up. Okay, uh, so you did you did you do anything? Yes. Okay, so I attacked all those four guys. Guess what? I killed the skeleton. Good. Okay. Okay. I muddled everybody. That's not gonna matter. I put did one damage on here and four damage on here. So he has five left. So there's five left. Only one on here. And he has... Oh, you, you only did one on this guy? Unfortunately, yes. But So he should have six on him then? Yes, okay. six. So okay. he's down to seven. Ah, okay. But he's no longer... Oh, no, poison, yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take him out. Which one? The big this guy? The big guy. Well, actually, wait, could you see. actually kill this guy about more? How much... He's got five health left. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, oh, I have to reshuffle. Nine, ten. No, I, I unfortunately don't think I can. Well, what about with him and your and Morana? Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, gonna... Can you bump up the ice because I created ice again? Okay. okay. I'm going to throw number two. All right. I'm going to throw a dagger at this number two. This guy. Okay. Because even though I might oops. not kill him, I'm can gonna... they take two damage at the end of their turn for summoning a living bones? So he'll kill himself. Okay, great. I'm also going to drink my potion to get two cards back with Ebenezer. Okay. So I'm going to throw a dagger. This is for three damage, four damage. On the big guy. Yeah. No, no, this guy right here, number, number. Oh, so he's down to one health. Yeah, I know. He's nice. down to one. I'm also... Wow, this has really got you puzzled, huh? Yeah, that was... This has really got you puzzled. Silly. Oops, and I'm shuffling cards this in backwards. All I'm doing now is just moving to. I'm putting a shield up. It doesn't matter because they're not attacking us. But I'll just move up and take some money. That was, that was silly. Okay. Uh, then next I'm going to use my flame strike mm -hmm. on number one. Okay. So this is for th three damage. But he's poisoned. That's exactly what uh, the entire last uh, game looked like for me. Okay. But I do still cause, I cause he's wounded. 
because I take the fire away. He's wounded? Okay, that's oh, number man. one. And so I, he takes the damage at the end of this round. Beginning of his turn. I mean, the beginning of his turn, yes. And I can jump four, but now that those skeletons are going to... One, two, three, four. Do I want to... No. Be there? I don't think so. But I do want to be closer to this door. Uh, I think I'm going to jump over here. Uh, okay, that might be a silly for me to jump over there. Yeah, unless you're going to put down your chick. No. Your I'm ally. Not. I'm not. And come back. Alright, so then I'm just going to go here, I guess. Okay. Silly, silly. I no, 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 I it's fine. Know. It's fine. Don't get down. We're good. Remember last round when he was like, oh, mister. I don't think I was. I think that was you. Oh, okay. I think that was you. Oh. All right, so now uh, there's no skeletons. Uh, so now the cultists go. They um, bring in a skeleton. The three skeletons that we just defeated. Okay, well, this one now is dead. Yep. And, and that then. is number two. Okay. And then this guy gains an extra wound. Right, and then he takes two at the end of his turn. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. So he's a nine. Right. And then we'll double check it once we cut this. I don't know if that poison... I think that poison might add a damage for every source of damage. If so, he would take another two damage. Because of the wound damage and him hurting himself. He, like, slices his arm to summon the skeleton. So that might be another two damage. Whew. Um, and two here. And two here. Okay. And then one other thing I, I gotta check, because I don't think we did it last time. Now that the skeletons already went technically out of 45, but now three guys are spawned, but it's after the 45, I don't, I don't think they get to go again. There's a lot of stuff we gotta check for you I guys. I know, right? So, we're gonna check that. We'll be right back. So, I'm hoping that we just got <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of guys that we basically just killed, and of course they're skeletons, and they just got reanimated. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'm, I wanted to wait to use this trump card um, a little bit later, uh, but I think I'm going to do what the mage does best right away. Kill a bunch of people. Alright, so she's got At a 20. Once. I'm hoping that goes before okay. a lot of other things. I have an 8 and a 33. Okay. Cultists. Oh, look at that. When cultists die, they blow up and hurt us. Okay, I'll take it. And, oh, and they go, is that a 10? It's horrible. And living bones, look at that. They heal themselves and get a shield. Okay, well, none of them have any no. damage on them, okay. so it's fine. We're so not, we're not getting doing anything shields. there. They're getting shields, but they're okay. not hitting us, so I guess that's So, good. okay. Should I now stun the A cultist? cultist? Yes, because it's one okay. less attack. So Ebenezer is now going to stun the big cultist here. Yeah. Attack one, range two. Three. Three. Attack one, range two. Oh, so I'm sorry. At this, so that's two so damage. Th three total with the poison. Three total with the poison. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Okay. So we're one away. Mm -hmm. But he's going to kill himself with a wound. Yeah, he is. Okay. What's the damage that they do? Nothing. Oh, when they blow up? They, yeah. They, it's not much, but... All right, big deal. Okay, big deal. Okay. Now he's going to immobilize another guy. He's going to immobilize the guy in the back, right? Doesn't matter. He's not doing anything. Oh. And if you hit him, he's just healing it anyway. So if you do any damage, you're going to want to hit this guy. Okay. Let's do that guy. Attack two, range four. Okay. Three. Three. Good. Three to number three. three. Okay, so he now six damage. the cultists go with a 10. So he's going to attack 
Uh, you're at a 33, right? Yes. He's going to attack the brute. Minus one. So this is one. No damage. Okay. And now the other cultist attacks minus one. So this is a zero. Okay, no damage. Okay, but they're going to blow up and, and hurt. Okay, so... That was the cultist? Oh. Uh, so that one does blow died. up. Yep. And then... Okay. We get this. And how much damage do I take? Oh. So it's going to be uh, me first. So this is for four. Four damage? Yeah. I thought you said it was barely any. Okay. The regular attack. When they attack, when they blow up, it's plus two. Oh. Well, five damage. So really four because my armor. And her, it's going to go on? Yeah. So I'm going to use my armor. Okay. Minus one. Good. So three on you. So here's the deal. I might not do my crazy attack because I'm I don't want to blow up the cultist and it hurt me. Like, we'll just kill him on a following turn. So uh, let's just hit the this cultist? Skeleton. Yeah. Why? I could kill him now, probably. Right. But if you just remember what just happened. Yes. He explodes. Yes, but our, so we're not going to get another bones? Well, it would be one of these cards. Oh. And he summons it out of 63. So okay. So he's got three health left. Okay. Let's not have Okie the Okie dokie, mokey. Right? Okay, so what's the next number? Uh, well, the, the so the skeletons, they heal themselves, which are at full, but now they have shields. So next is a uh, 20. So that is this, the mage. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I think I'm not going to unleash the beast. Okay. But I will... I'm just going to move up. I'm going to okay, move here. That's fine. And then I'm going to do my forked beam that does uh, two damage to two targets. So I'll hit the two skeletons. Okay, great. Okay. So, skeleton number one. Skeleton number one. This is two. One. One. No he's damage. he's got armor. Two. Doesn't matter. He's got two armor. It does nothing. Oh, this is so amazing. This is so great when you get the right string of cards that doesn't do anything. Uh, 28. Yep. Next. Mm-hmm. Um, attack three, pierce two. So I will attack this skeleton right next to me. Okay. Three, four, five damage. Straight up. Five damage on number, number three. Three. So that's helpful. So he's down to two. And then I can move four, push three, which I will do. I'll move here. I'm just going to push this guy back. Force him to walk up to us. Okay. That's my new card, my world one card. You just run in there and push them. Okay, now I can kill... A skeleton. The skeleton or do damage on another one. We're going to kill the Probably existing, kill. right? So yeah. we're going to move three. Mm. That's wrong. One, two, three. Okay. We're going to poison him. Okay. Oh, you know what? Can I poison him? Poison one adjacent enemy? Sure. Let's poison him instead. Oh, um, three, four, because now I'm not sta now no one else is standing next to him. Um, how much? I would... So he, I can do four damage on this guy. Let's poison the skeleton. Okay, I like it. Let's poison get the him skeleton. Out of the way. Four damage. Three, three damage. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Whew, man, this first room's never ending. I don't get a lovely experience for that. Okay, she is going to drink her potion to heal back three health. Okay. And I'm not going to drink my other potion yet. I'll probably do that next time. Okay, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Feeling a little bit better now. I had a minute to uh, decompress. Realize you need to cry about it. I did. I, about I shed it. a tear. I was like, oh, these guys keep, it's going to slow us down. But 
you know what? I didn't spend any cards for Morgana yet. Usually I burn through some lost cards. Right I away. drank my potion to regain two cards with the rogue. Okay. See how that is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go. Uh, oops. I have two 11s. The scoundrel is going to go first. I got really late. 87 and 91. Uh, cultist, 27. And a 74. Target one enemy with all attacks. Right. Okay. Okay, uh, Scoundrel's going to go first. She's going to move two. Actually, just move one. Okay. And she is going to use her amazing number five card, which Stay is what right I got back. She kills this guy. Boom. Dead. Cool. He's not near any of his friends. That's really and helpful. And he's near one of my friends, so I gain an experience. I think the Brute had a card like that very early on, but it was a discard. Uh, so you can just, just keep using it and using it. <clears throat> That's awesome. Okay, so now Ebenezer's going to go. His little buddy's going to go first, move up to attack this guy. He's got three um, he's left. He's got three attack. Come on. Four, five, six. Why are you doing so much damage to the guy that's hurt? That's good. That's good. I don't know. I like it. He's dead. Okay. And Ebenezer is then, he's going to move for three. Oh, you do have a move three. Yeah, I remember I, I just had to switch her cards around so oh, that he could go. That's great. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Ebenezer, yeah, he doesn't need to do anything. So he is actually putting down his Mind's Weakness Augment card. Okay. Gives him a plus two attack. Okay, so the cultists are all dead. Next is the skeleton. So is there movement three? It sure is. So he moves up and he hits the brute. Both attacks are on the brute because of the special. So they attack for two. Not bad. So on the brute for two, one, and I block one. Okay, my armor's tapped. Next one is two, one damage. That I will surely take. This brute is excited to repay the favor, which he's about to do right now. Unstoppable charge, attack five onto the skeleton. Oh, is he the scoundrel? Four damage. He performs. Number one, four damage. Got it. Experience. And I can move, so I will, guess what? I'll move and pick up this treasure. Uh, do I want to get that, or should I just move towards the door? Oh, get the treasure. Hmm... Yeah, I still have my boots left. Okay, uh, and then I've got Morgana. Skeleton has how much left? Um, he's got three left. I'm actually going to heal the brute for three. Okay. Because I'm a little hurt. And then I'm going to move two spaces. Um, use my boots. One, two, three. I'm going to go over here. Four. So I'm gonna have to long rest with her next turn anyway. Okay. Uh, that's that's it for me. Me too. Um, let's just go right into the next one because I'm long resting. Oh, okie dokie. Because we're probably gonna open this door soon anyway. Yeah. So that's when we'll probably take a, a little cut. Um, all right, I plan my move. Okay, do we know what's on the other side of the door? Ooh, we do, but the viewers don't. I forget how far away they may or may not be. They may be more than two spaces away and less than four. But you have to take care of the skeleton first. Yeah. Okay. So I'm and? Oh, Okay. 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 We're just going to cut it, and I'm going to set up the next room. All right, so the... Oh, I didn't even set that up so that we can see if it's visible. It's, it's not. He got away. He got carried away.
he's a Debbie Downer on this round. He's a Debbie Downer. Someone snored. It kept me up all night. I breathed heavily, okay? <clears throat> all right, so we set up the next room, and we were back and forth on if we were going to go through the door or not this round, and I think we're going to wait, because Morgana's long resting. Yeah, she <clears throat> gets the long rest. She knows. She's tired, just like I am. Okay, the I'm a... Hey, has the brute killed anybody? Oh, I forget what Ebenezer's thing is. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't think oh. she does. Um, oh. would killing someone Ooh. right off the bat do more damage? Ooh, would killing someone right off the bat do more damage? I forgot, I had to get rid of my check marks. Oh, he has to do a sprung. I mean, shh, nobody heard that. And what does she have to do? Oof. Ugh. Oh, that changes Ooh. actually Ooh. what I was going to ah. do. Ooh. Ah, Ooh. Ooh, oh, you know man. what I could do? Is I could actually open the door and have them run up and then move and move here. Okay, don't change the plan. All right, let's not change the plan. We're not changing the plan. We're here to kill Jexera, not get check marks. Right? Okay, ten. He's retiring. Why does he need a check mark? Ten. Living Bones. Whoa, whoa. Five and six. Twenty-five. Nobody cares about my characters. All right, five. Okay. My little guy moves up. Mm-hmm. Attacks for three. Five damage. Five damage. He's dead. Dead. Good job. Okay, thank you. Coin. Coin, please. Ebenezer's going to move there. Come on! You didn't even get to do anything. My goodness. Come on! Okay. Um, oh, then my chickaroni, she's gonna move up. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, be prepared. And she's gonna long rest at the end of this you round. You mean short rest? I mean short rest at the end of this round. Alright, well, the brute's just gonna move too. And that's it. He'll have the short rest, and Morgana performed a long rest. So. Wow, that was really short term. Look at us. This. Look at us, like, band ready, of brothers. Ready to knock, knock on this door. We gotta cut it again, Excuse though. Excuse me. Alright, so we put all the monsters on the board because I know we're gonna walk through that door first. So, uh, I've got a 10. And a 44. I have a 4 Actually, and a 29. Uh, yeah, 44. You have a what? 4 and a 29. Guess who's walking through this door? Cat, the scoundrel. We're going to have to restart this turn, but okay. Go ahead. Do your scoundrel's turn. Why? Go ahead. Do, do your scoundrel's turn. Oh. Right. You have to go after me. And what's your number? After four. No. She has to go after Ebenezer. Why, Ebenezer's going to oh, stand no, there? Oh, no, wait. One. Oh, no, Ebenezer's going to stand there. I have to go after number four? I have a ten. Go after ten. Oh, an 11. Okay. Are you drunk over there? No, I'm actually not. Ready, go. Who am I? Who am I? Okay, uh, so I have the room already set up, but uh, they're technically not there yet. I just know we're going to go into just it. Just pretend, okay. everybody at home. Pretend they're not there. You, we hear them. We listen. We know they're on the other side of this door. Okay, I have a 10 and a 44. I have an 11 and a 29. Okay, good. Uh, so I'm going to go first with my 10. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move four. One, two, oh, look. Oh, my God, look at all these guys in here. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Some night demons. One, two, three, four. I'm going to use my boots to move another two spaces. 
Wow, you tower over these monsters. I do. And I'm going to disarm this one right here. So attack two. Damage. Number four, night Number four. demon. And he's disarmed, so he does not attack for a round. Which is good because they do some pretty disarm tough damage. Disarm is in hand, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, so that was uh, a ten. Do you have an 11? I have an 11. Okay, good. I think you set this up right. This card is my favorite card of the yep. entire game. Yep. One, two, three, four, um, five. She can move up here. She yeah. can move five spaces. Yeah, go there. Dead. Dead. See ya. Kill one enemy that's adjacent to one of my allies and not adjacent to them. Now, the only thing that's really not scary, but... We both short rested at the end of last round. Yes. And she pulled one card that she really didn't want to get rid of. And, you know, you can spend one uh, one health to shuffle and pick a new one. But the, the problem is, if the second card was this... That's it. Right. So I could not take... This card is trump any of it. my other cards. You yes. Okay. yes. Oh, we need to... Oh, we need to pull all of them. Oh, yeah, that around. would be helpful. We were just so excited. Is that a Seven... seven. The Night Demon goes uh, before <laughs> you go. Oh, look, the cultists actually summon living bones. Did you shuffle that? I did. There's no living bones out yet. Well, I, I already picked it because I knew that's what they're going to do. Well, they, they don't go this round. Okay, well, that kind of Okay, sucks. let me back this up. Where was I? One, two, three, four. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They're just going to, um, they just attack me. Oh, man, all three of them. Well, this guy doesn't attack because I disarmed him. Right. This guy does move and attack me. So it's minus one attack, so five. So four, five damage on the brute. So I'm down to 11. And now the guy that you just killed, four, three, for three damage. I'm down to eight. Okay. Minor healing I know, potion. I know I do. It's just I started at 18. Okay, I'm, I'm hurt, but this is what the brute does. Okay, now you walk in and do your fancy dance a little a little too late. All right. Yeah. Okay, my next number is 29. Uh, I have a 44. So I do go next. Yes. Okay, Ebenezer's guy moves up two. Mm hmm. And then Ebenezer is moving four spaces. One, two, three, four. He's going to stand next to this guy. Mm -hmm. And he is going to attack for three plus his two. So we're going to do an attack five on this guy. And uh, is this guy... Yeah, he, he's he is hurt. hurt. Okay, yes. attack five. Oh, so you could kill him. Oh, wait a second. Attack against this advantage. So mm. I have to account for that. Okay, so I don't so do two damage. So he has no damage on him. I don't do any but damage. But he is disarmed still. Right. So now I have to pull another card. Correct. So I do four damage on him. Right. Okay. I'm glad they only have seven health. Me too. And I'm glad you just instantly killed one. That was really helpful. Uh, oh, yeah, the brute went... Okay. Uh, so next... Ebenezer will be short resting at the end of this turn for everyone following along at home. Okay, Morgana's going to go. Uh... She's just going to move too. She's like, see you later, power core. And shoot this guy. See you later, power core. For four damage, but disadvantage. Five damage. Nice. See ya. Dead. Whew. Get out of here. Okay. Helpful. The other one I just used as a move. Uh, okay, now the cultists go. They spawn two skeletons. So they stay where they are? Yeah. Okay. Here and here. And then they take two health each, the cultists. So the cultists? Three and two. I think the Living Bones actually card doesn't come out this round. Because when you're summoned, you don't act the turn you get summoned. That's why I don't pull a card yet. 
No, that guy's still a night demon, yes. Okay. Okay, so we got one light demon to go. And as you can see, there's a room over here with two two stun traps. Kind of want to go see what's inside of there. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Mm. Okay. I always have him pick my discard card. Oh, for resting. Resting. Is that okay to get rid of? It's gonna have to be. <sighs> okay, all right. So I wanna tell you what I'm, I'm thinking of. This room right here, Jack Sarah's in here. I can hear her voice. I can hear the twinkling of treasure in this room. I wonder if I could time it correctly that when we fight Jexera and get her really low on health, I book it out with my mage and do the flying trapeze, land on the treasure, and score it that round, rather than going there first and then trying to come back. Maybe we just rush Jexera and like I said, as we're getting towards the end, the mage... Then can... you're going to alley-oop over all these guys that are potentially moving our way? No, we well, gotta, no, we gotta kill these guys them. first. You're right. Yeah, why not? I think that's a good idea. Good idea. If I can reach it, because four can, heads are better than three. I can in attacking a big boss. I move ten spaces with my flying trapeze with my boots. I mean, that would be pretty epic at the end. Yeah. That break, we were able to go to sleep, have a good night's rest, go out, cut the grass. Plant eight, some flowers. Eight hours. And now we're back. Eight hours. Don't. He's exaggerating. What was it? How long were we outside doing yard work? Three hours, maybe? Oh, It please. wasn't just cutting the grass. It was planting flowers, hanging things. But now we're back playing Gloomhaven. Yeah. Okay. Killing a boss, hopefully. What are our numbers? I want to burn through this room. 27. 4. 20. 12. Okay, of course. Alright. My characters demon. go early! Sorry! 35, cultist. 6 or 3. Oh my god. Sh I shuffled. And look. More. Oh my goodness. And a 20. Oh my god. And they heal. Alright, we're gonna really have to kill them this turn. I'm not happy with these pulls. Okay, so the cultist... Would you rather me... I'd rather you kill everything. I, I like the one damage that you're doing. Okay. Oh, you mean with uh, her? Can she yeah, get over there she's and do something? No. Alright, get rid of this, uh, this guy. One, two, three, and like he's it. now poisoned. It's going to be very helpful because he has 13 health, but, you know, we're disadvantaged when we attack him. Yes. So. Extra damage is nice. Attack three, four, five, six because of my helmet. All right, got to draw so two cards. So I have to pull two, pull two cards. Okay. So well, that's that sucks. Doesn't matter. It doesn't you, matter. So yeah. do I have to keep pulling? No, you're gonna have to shuffle shuffle your deck anyway. So. Wow. Thanks. Ebenezer? He's poisoned. That's good. Wow, that was not how I wanted to start this turn. <laughs> okay, is Ebenezer still going to do? Yeah, he's yeah. going to have to, right? Okay, he he's going to move four. Sp well, first his buddy's going to move. Okay. He's going to move four. Two, three, four. Then he's going to do his mass hysteria attack, which is attack all four of those people for one, damage. one Okay. and they all get muddled. Good. All right, let's start with this. During your attack, add plus two your, to your entire attack action. Uh, there you go. Major power potion. So it's now an attack three. We need to get rid of all these guys so they don't keep spawning more. Yeah. Good so let's job. Attack High five three. to that. 
I can't wait until I pull all. Right. Attack three on this cultist. Six damage. Destroyed. Wait, the cultist? Yeah, he already has two on him. Oh, he's got one left. Sorry. I got, I got excited. I was like, whoa. Okay. So that's six. Yes. Okay. Now, is this a blessed? That's a bless. Okay. All right. Number one skeleton. Three. Four. So really three, because he's got armor. Okay. Skeleton. Don't worry, I got it for you. So the cultist is muddled, the skeleton's muddled. Number three cultist. Four. I like it. So six and a muddle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one Skeleton is a bone, right? Yep, number two. Come up. Oh, yeah. Last one. Four. Four damage. So three. I think that was great. He's number what? What now? Two. He's number two. Yeah, three. And a model, which I will get. And I get one point. Okay. And can you pop up a snow? Pop in the snow. All right, now the mage's turn. The mage is going to move four. Wait, what's her number? 20. Oh, she goes before mm -hmm. the bones, gotcha. Okay. Now I'm going to shoot my impaling eruption, eruption on this character right here. So it hits all four of them for four damage. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna make it six damage. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna drink my okay. potion too. Okay, so which is the one that only has one health? That is the cultist number two. Get my so are you going you. to hit that cultist first or last? I'm sorry, I'm still bookkeeping at the moment. Okay, am I gonna hit that cultist first or last? I My first pull is gonna be on this skeleton right in front of me. I'm going to oh. do it in the order of my okay. impaling Number two. coming at them. Gotcha. Number two so skeleton. Six, six damage. It dies. Wait. Six. Yes, it does. I've, hey, I'm just keeping them honest I'm for you guys. I'm doing Cultist, you're dead. Skeleton. This guy? Oh my god, you're oh really dead. Oh my god, dead. he's dead. Next cultist, the guy with one health left. Yes. Minus one. Don't matter. He's dead too. Good job! Good job to both Actually, of us. Actually, it was because of your plus three. That solidified. Look at that! I mean, we just left a wake of money. We just made it rain in this dungeon. Wow. Yeah, even just go here and do a, a loot. Which I don't have. But. Okay. Okay, right. that was amazing! I like it. So then they don't go, the living bones. That made up for the rogue's horrible, <laughs> horrible. All right, so now the brute's going to go. He's going to do an unstoppable. Let's do my spare dagger first. I have a spare dagger that I'm going to attack right next to him for two damage. So two or pierce. Won't matter. Oh, there's my plus three. Doesn't matter. It's only two. Well, three because of the poison. Three because of poison. Okay, then I'm going to do my unstoppable charge for five. Get my experience. Here we go. Six, Six or five. five. Five damage. Okay, he is more than halfway dead. Okay. Uh, now Wait, did you add the poison? Oh, no, I did not. Give so six one. damage. Yep, give him one more. All right, so now it's Night Demon's turn. Okay. He's going to turn and attack Me. you. This is for... Oh, he does double attack. Ugh. For four damage apiece. Great. He hits you twice. So are you going to... Oh, your arm is already blocked? No, because somebody wouldn't let me long rest. Oh. I don't know who that could have been. It was Ebenezer. Oh, you take six damage. <laughs> well, you're up like full health. And now the next one. Five damage. Wow. You sure you don't want to like block the uh oh, well. Block what? That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Someone might have to heal you. 
Oh, you think? Oh, boy. All right. Or I'm long resting next turn. Yeah, I think you definitely should long rest. Because... Ooh. You want me to get rid of a card? Um, yeah. For the six would have been good, but yeah, you really had to do that before I picked the five. Yeah, well then I get it rid of for the five. I, I think it's worth it. If you can spare getting rid of one card... Because I'll be able to heal you for three and you can long rest, but getting that five... Okay, I'll get rid of a card. Okay, so go back up five health. And I still think now you long rest still. Because this thing has how much health left? Nine. It has four. So between three people, you resting will be okay. I See, the thing is with the scoundrel, I love all her cards. So it's hard for me to get rid of any of them. One guy left. Let's make sure we get him out of the way. Uh, I should have drank my potion last turn to just hit him one more time. But um, I forgot. 35-91. I have a 9. And, and a 99. It. And we've got a 22 that creates darkness. Ooh. Okay, well, he's going to hit the brute. So. Okay. 1, 2. Mm -hmm. Ebenezer's going to move you're 1. You're going to go punch him in the face? or? No, oh, I'm going to range gonna go, attack him. You're going to go get money at a time like this? Attack 2, range 4, immobilize. Pump up my ice. Oh. 3. Three. Attack three and immobilize. You gotta go again. Okay, so two, but he's poisoned. Three. Three. Ah, one more. You got one left. But you muddled him? Are you only. No, I immobilize him. I picked up the wrong so one. So he's gonna get one more attack on me. Eight. Sorry. You couldn't have just killed him, and then I could have gotten the gold. But instead, I'll get hit. All right, so here you go. Take your riches. Three coins. You're retiring, okay? What do you need gold for? I, I don't know. Your sick mother, I guess. For, uh, it's never too late to start a retirement fund. Oh, we should take that advice. Anybody <laughs> right. want to make donations to the <laughs> Hit Point Hunters Retirement Fund? Uh, all right. He attacked the brute. This is for five damage. Oh, jeez, I'm... Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry. Five. Oh, God. Well, then why doesn't Morgana heal the brute? I think I'm going to actually get rid of a card. I'm just going to get rid of a card. How's well, that? I still think she should heal the brute. Because I'm going to go up two right now for a long rest thing. We'll see. I'm going to get rid of this one. Brute's turn. I'm going to drink a potion to heal three. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, jump. Actually, he created night. And I created wind. And then I'm going to eat the wind. Oh, wait. Oh. Huh? I think I've been doing that wrong since the beginning of time. What? I can't create a wind. And eat it in the same and turn. And eat the same turn. Remember I told you that? Yeah, you did. And I've been doing this pa this couple of cards since the beginning. Are you sure you can't do it? Because for me, yeah. the rogue, she can go and poison someone and then attack them. And I'm the poison counts. pretty positive I can't. I'll check after. but And I've been doing this uh, literally since the beginning. So okay. um, let me... I'll just attack them where I'm from, where, where I started. Okay. Because I can still use the wind, and then next turn if I don't, well, whatever. So it's this is for attack three. Times two, or plus one. He's dead. <sighs> Again, experience. Can you move on to that money? I can. I will. And I'll jump there to create wind. Okay. All right, now Morgana goes. She can heal someone for three. Heal the brute. Yeah? Yes, of course. You already gave, you got your two? Mm-hmm. 
I'm at ten. But I have a heal card. Okay. Myself. Then I will heal the brute for three. And I'll move two spaces over here to get this money. Okay. So now we've got now we've got a question. Obviously we're gonna go into this room. Right. Right here. Do we do it this round? Or do we have everyone... Ooh, pick up some money? Well, okay. I was actually going to say long rest with everybody. Well, well I just guys. long rested. So maybe you want to pick up money or then prep. I could pick up money. I could definitely long rest. Well, and then I could have a heal card for her. Okay. So, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to long rest with... Um, Cover up to two of your discarded cards. Hmm. Hold on now. Okay. I don't really need to long rest with Morgana. I could just short rest. Well, but I would be risking. Then let's long rest. All right, long rest. Ebenezer will get money. The long scoundrel rest. will get money, and heal herself. And heal. Herself. Okay. So do you know? What, well, we'll just go right into it. Okay. Okay. Long resting. Long resting. Oh really? So I'll pick my stuff. Yeah. Okay, dokie. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I had something in my eye. Okay, so she is gonna be a number thirty-three, which is Goodness. her special mixture. And she heals herself for three. And then she is going to move. I don't think she's really going to. She should move to the door. She should move to the door. No, you know what? Oh, but she has to put down another card, huh? Huh. Yeah. She has to put down a card. Um, let's put down this card. And she'll move to the door. Okay. Mm. Or does she not heal herself and make herself invisible? So she can go in and punch someone right away. Um, that's pretty, but you want to be able to do that to like the, the boss, Jexera. Okay, so then I wait. So then I wait and heal. Oh yeah, definitely heal. Okay, Ebenezer is going to... I'll move this guy up. Yes, please. Good, that's great. Okay, so he moves up. Ebenezer is just going to... The closer you get to, like, if, the closer you get to the door, the better. Well, then this is pointless for us to... Why? Well, Ebenezer has to move back to get money. Well, then don't get money. Oh. Let's let's make sure we get into this room and blow people up. Fine. Just like a move three would be nice. Maybe you want to add your extra augment card. I. No, it's down here already. Oh, so I would have had to short rest last time. I'm not saying that's what you need to do. We're going to decide, and then you'll figure out what she did, along with we'll go into No, I'm going to move oh. three. Oh, she's ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This card. Heal, but I don't need to heal. And then I'm just going to put down a... You're going to do that, and then you're going to short rest after? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to short rest after. Okay, and then everything comes down. This is the round. We know Jexra's in the next room. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Hopefully the brute's going to lead the charge with a 10. No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... No. I have an 80 with my mage. Okay. I have a 12 and a 9. All right. Well, 9 goes first, then. Yeah, is that okay? That's uh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You're gonna open that door with the mind Ebenezer. thief. 
Jexera has unfortunately had ample time for to reincarnate the corpses here, but they are no match for your skills. You knock down one last door to come face to face with a necromancer herself. I don't know how you found me, but it matters a little. You have mistakenly assumed that I ran because I was afraid of fighting you. I was just holding out some hope that you would come to your senses in time. It is a pity that your minds cannot think beyond what is at the end of your blades. Did she just... She just tried to diss us. What? What corpses you have destroyed so far will now be replaced with your own. So, Jexra's here in the back. Wearing way too much makeup she and is, way too uh, little clothes. She is looking pretty good right now. Do we well, have... she's going to look pretty good dead. Do we need to kill her? Uh, Why don't we just help her out? A little too late for that, I guess. All right. Uh, so she's a boss. A little too late for that. She is immune to wound, disarm, stun, and curse. So you can poison her, which is what we awesome. will be doing. She has 48 health, 12 per character. Uh, she is melee, does four damage. We need to just destroy her, but there's a bunch of guys in this room still. Mm -hmm. So not for long. Uh, hopefully we can do. Here, here's the here's the plan. First round, one and a half rounds. We take. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Finish it while I'm going. Uh, hopefully we focus on the first, the guys in the first round. Jexra will move up. We will then uh, focus on her, and then the mage. On the last or second to last turn, we'll be able to jump and go get the treasure. Ebenezer moves into. Oh, well, his guy moves one because mm -hmm. he was blocking mm -hmm. it. Uh, he moves in for two. He is actually going to target this guy because we want to immobilize him. So he's attacking two, range four. Give me a frost. Oh, oh, four damage. Four damage. That's a good start. Four damage and immobilize. I'm a big guy. And is there only one of him? Yep. Well, no. He's he's number one. Uh, number one. Immobilize. Which one's immobilize? Here we go. Right here. Right here. Okay. Got it. One day you'll learn. One day I'll learn. Okay. And I get experience. All right. Okay. So I have to draw for the them. Living corpse. Oh yeah. I guess Plus you should have done that. One attack. Can you shuffle the boss card? I am nervous. Okay. Living bones is twenty five. That's a bit. It minus one attacks. Fine. And I do not want to see a special two. You don't want to see a special two. She only. So let me get this straight. She only has special ones and special twos. Right. And you don't want to see a special two. Right. Let's you. Let's show you guys at home. Can you show me two? It's a special two. Number 11. Oh, that's great. She goes before me. Well, that's exactly what we didn't want. Okay, uh, so she goes right now with that? No, you have 10, don't you? I do have 10. What is a special two? She summons, Summon living corpse. She summons two of these guys, two elite living corpses. And she stays in the back, so it's harder mm. for us to get to her. Uh, so my other plan would have worked. Oh, okay, well, whatever. We're, we're already here, right? One, two, three, four. I charge in. I push somebody, somebody three spaces. One, two. He snaps this trap, so he is stunned. Number four. And I'm going to disarm the skeleton. Number four, living yep. corpse. Yep. I thought you were killing him. No. He did, so the stun doesn't do any damage. No, just his turn okay. is done. Okay. And then I'm going to attack the skeleton next to me, so attack two. Disarm. Great, that's what my card does anyway. Two, so three damage, so really only two. And he is disarmed. And I will Jexer, I'll take this. 
bring out my skeleton. Nice. Here. I need a little thing. Here. I'm going to drop him right here. Actually, I wonder if I... No, let's, yeah, let's drop it right here. Oh, this guy's immobilized, right? Mm hmm Can I put this guy here? Is that going to mess anybody Can up? Can someone be pulled through someone else? All right. I won't drop my ring of skulls just yet. Uh, yeah, I won't be doing that. Okay. Uh, actually, I probably could drop it right here. And he takes three damage? No, he just gets stunned. Oh, but then next round he's back to normal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, well, no, he's immobilized. So I just don't want him to get hit, so no, I'm not dropping him. Sorry, take all that back. Okay, yeah, you can't drop him on that trap. I'm that not... trap has to be left there until the end. For reasons unmentionable. Oh, even though there's two other traps over here? Ebenezer doesn't move that fast. Okay. okay. Um, do I drink the potion and get that push back? Or do I get this, this arm back? No, not yet. I won't drink that. Okay. Jexaragos. Ah, Jexaragos. All right. This is a shame. So I need uh, two living corpses. She summons living corpses, move minus one, and attack plus two. Oh, so she, she does move. So no matter when she goes, she's summoning extra monsters. N no. Yeah, because if she pulls a one, she's summoning living, living well, yeah, bones. But she might not have... There are other cards in here besides specials ones and twos. Oh, see, I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, oh, so that makes it even worse that I pulled probably one out of three cards that are, yeah. There Whoops. might actually only be, um... Oh, yeah, didn't you say that there aren't enough? I think there's only five of them here. I think there's only what are, five. What are they? Living... The living corpses. Yeah, didn't you say that? Because if she two, spawns three, another four. one, it's not going to be there. Well, I'm missing living corpse. Blame the cat. Well, let's put in just something else. Okay. That's unmistakable for something else. Put in something green. Okay, there we go. But, hey, with I'll a yellow, a yellow it. bottom. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. So, and then she does what? She moves minus one and attacks plus two. And what's her movement? Her movement is four. Attacks plus two? Yeah. One, two, so she does go right here and attacks the brute. Oh. Actually attacks Ebenezer. Ooh, so she is close. Oh. Ooh, this might be good because she's now in front of all of her guys, her wow. minions, and now we can just burn her down. Kind of go back here because she's not going to retreat. Let her keep spawning people. She's foolish. She summons this army but then runs up. Yeah, that doesn't seem to make sense. So let's destroy her. Okay, well, she attacks you for plus two. So this is six damage. Ready? Luckily, he has his hide armor. Five. Five. Four. Four. Okay. Um. That's funny, because I just got rid of my move three, my heal. No, did I? I don't know if I still have it. Move three, heal three. That's all right. We'll get through it. Hey, look. We'll get through it. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I just got. Yeah. I think we just focus our attention on her now. Okay, but I think the rogue. Well, so I'm not doing what I did with the rogue. And kill the one. Well, guy. here's the thing. So if we stand in these areas, mm -hmm. nobody can move near us. Like if you go here with the rogue. Well, guess what? I can move two and poison her. I think we just kind of start doing it. Do you have you have enough health, right? And I can go invisible. Oh yeah, and you can't even get it. Yes. So one, two, poison all adjacent enemies. Oh my goodness. So this might be good. she is poisoned, mm -hmm. and number five, five living corpse is poisoned. Okay. Okay. Then she's going invisible. Good. That creates a darkness. I was going to kill one of the, the living corpse by 
dragging him away from everyone because I love that card. Mm -hmm. But but again, now it really helped. Just yeah, because you know of why? The, I can use my battle axe next turn and destroy two of them mm -hmm. right there. Just because of the timing, she's now in the front. Mm -hmm. It would have sucked if they went first, and then we would have had to have killed them to get to her. Okay. So, Ooh. what number did you go with? Oh my gosh, my turn next time is amazing. I went with a 12. Okay. Uh, so, next is a 25. So, the living corpses... Uh, living bones go next. Oh, I need living corpses. Oh, right, right. No, I'm sorry, living bones, you're right. Well, this guy's disarmed, so he can't do anything. And then this guy, he moves, moves and he attacks you. He does not attack you because you're invisible. I'm invisible. So, one, two, three, four. He can't get, actually, his movement is... A living bones, he's white, he has three movement. All right, since he can't target you... He can. He's actually going to come to me. And he's going to go on a trap? And go on the trap and then stun himself. What an idiot. What number is he? Because you're not there. He can't get to that. He comes here. He pulls up this trap. I think that's the right way of doing it. What number well, is he? Well, don't worry, because his turn, he's stunned now. Oh. He'll be stunned. Next turn. Huh. I wonder how that works. If he moves and attacks and then gets stunned, or he just moves and stuns himself. Well, let's just say he attacks right now, and then he's stunned next turn. Yeah, so number one is stunned, okay. and he attacks me for two minus one damage. One. Zero, and I block it. Okay. This guy, who was disarmed... Doesn't do anything. Now it's 47 is the next number. What do you guys have? Okay. Yep, 47 is next. So this living corpse can't move. This living corpse can't get to you. Well, he can't target Invisible. you. And then this guy, he will move. Even though he can't, he'll just go there. Okay. And then, like, they'll do this. And that's it. Okay, so this... Which one? Number two is no longer... Number four was disarmed. Okay, so all But it was actually number two gone. that was disarmed. Okay. All that's gone. This guy's gone. Except for the poison. Right. On number five. Okay. Now that's left is just the Spellweaver. That was really good that you went invisible because you blocked a lot of attacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to range attack... Engulf in flames, attack four, and I'm gonna do plus one damage, I think. So this is uh, five, five damage. On who? On Jexera. Oh, okay. Six, seven with the poison. Okay. Got her. Okay. Uh, and that creates flame. Okay. That's the end of the round. Just going to double check on the trap card and find this other living corpse. Okay. Okay, so you actually short rested with the rogue. I, since I was the last one to go with Morgana, I actually drank a potion to get two of my cards back. So I did that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it. it. See, this is rough because, well, we're in a good spot. We want to fight Jexer off. She's right in front of us. But we don't want to kill these other guys because then the, the elites are going to walk in and do more damage. And the good thing is, right now, you're still invisible. So they can't hurt anybody else. Mm -hmm. So you need to stay as invisible as long as possible. Which I'm going to. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm just going to try and hit her as best as I can. So 27 and a 20. I have an 88 Okay. the scoundrel. Okay. And an eight with Ebenezer. Okay. Oh, and that skeleton that hit me, once he walks on the trap, he gets stunned, so he doesn't actually attack me. Mm -hmm. And then he is stunned for this round as well. So, I'm going to put the zero back on top of the deck. Okay. The monster one. Okay. I gained my point of armor back. And I think we're good to go. Okay. So, 
Eight oh. goes first. Oh, we should probably pick them. Living Corpse, 82. <sighs> Good thing you did that, 88. Wow. 20. Okay. Not bad. And... Uh-oh. 52. Uh-oh. It's a range attack. I mean, she backs up. Oh, Move minus one. Shoot. Attack one. Range three. Targets two people. How, is she, how far does she back up? She has three spaces. Wow, so... I need to... We need to punch her as much as we can right now. Yeah, but you're not hitting her with your big attack. Nope. Attack one. But even if I would have picked the 60, I still wouldn't have gotten her either. I think she does an arrange attack. Yeah, I guess so. Punch three. Mmm. Oh, that's a shame. That okay. she gets to do a range attack even though she's just melee on the card? Yeah, I'm just making it so that I want her to stand next to us, but she's going to back course, up. You of know? course. Of course. All right. Okay. So, so let's let's get yep. this done. What number are you? I am eight. Okay. You go first. Okay. So Ebenezer's going to use the bottom of his number three card. He's going to attack for one and then strengthen himself, but his attack one is actually an attack three. Okay. On Jaxara, yeah, who's poisoned. So three, so four damage. So four, so she's in an eleven. Okay. okay. Now. Now I'm strengthened, and I'm gonna use the top of my perverse edge, which I hardly, I don't think this me, this might be the second time I ever use it. Attack three. This is like the rogues card. Plus two and gain one for each negative condition. So he gets an attack three, four, five. And, and a six, seven. Seven. And you're strengthened. And I'm strengthened. Whew. And she's poisoned. Okay. Okay. So seven. A times two would be awesome. So that's 14 plus one. So that's 15 damage. So I'm going to draw the other one. A minus one. Okay. 15 damage. Okay. So she takes 15 damage. If she didn't back up. We could have killed her next turn, I think. So she has 26 damage on her. Oh my Just God. by Ebenezer. Little old oh Ebenezer. My God. And I fought him because I'm like, I don't want to bring the strength in card. That is so stupid, but it actually, That's it wouldn't the have point mattered. That it, works. it wouldn't have mattered because Still, it was the top card. Because but yes, what if that okay, top card so was a miss? You can't yes, miss. I can't miss. Okay, so now I'm at 10 experience. <sighs> Okay. He gets rid of that card. Okay. That was like a big, a big move for him. Okay, next is a 20. So it is Morgana. So she's going to uh, range, range attack here. Oh, oh, this is all down. my guy moved up. Okay. So uh, attack Sorry. four on Jexara. See? There you go. That's it. Uh, Wait, the brute doesn't attack her? He will. Oh, okay. Uh, 27, so living bones go next. So this guy's stunned. Yes. This guy attacks me for two damage. Oh, here's the Number zero. one? Yeah. Okay. Two, I block one, so I take one damage. So that guy's no longer disarmed. Right, no longer stunned. Okay, stunned, sorry. sorry. Okay. Now the brute goes. I'm going to um, attack two on the bottom. Checks her off. Three, four because of poison. Four because of poison. So that's an additional. So she's at 30. And then attack five. On the top. Six because of poison. And then... So she's at 36 health. 46. 12 left. Could I have done that? I could have. Right? Well, I would have had a 10. Oh, wait a second. What? Could I switch my cards? Can't. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, you have to pick your number before you see everybody. Wah, wah. Do 
just trying to think how we can how we can do this. So she has twelve left. Mm -hmm. Well, again, all we have to do is get to her and feed her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm gonna drink my potion with the brute. Okay. Get my cards back. Okay. Get it. Um, you can drink the potion while we're thinking about the next turn, right? Instead of making everyone Oh, okay, sure. Watch well, it. I'm going to drink the potion and okay. figure out what two cards I want to get back. Well, it, de it depends. It matters, actually. Oh, does it? Be. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one, and um, I'll just take, uh, I'll take this one. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Living bones went. She goes. Right? That little hooker, yes. Okay, so she backs up. She's going to target you and me. So she backs up to here. Okay, so okay. this is minus one attack targeting two people. So um, this is on you. Okay, minus one attack targeting two, so she has an, it's an three attack, attack three. Six damage. Five damage. Five damage. I'm down to one health. Okay, do you just lose a card? instead. Okay. Yeah. Oh, too bad that wasn't on me first. Okay, now on me for three. Three damage. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Mm, not good, not good. Okay, now the living corpses go, and guess what? Now they can move up. Now they can move up. Hits. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, plus one attack. Six damage. I have to lose another card. Seven damage, yep. Oh, my God. And then uh, this guy moves up. He can't attack. All right, we need 12 damage left on her. Oh, all right, well, this is going to be a rough turn. We're, this is, we're I gonna, haven't gone yet. But you still get to go. I can't. I, I don't even remember what I was doing. Um, you were gonna pop out. I was gonna people. pop out of invisibility. I can actually range attack her. What? Yes. But it's only for four. Don't you get you get double the attack? Yeah, it's for two. I target three people. Or do I kill two of these guys? You think you could kill two of them? Well, I well, have. An advantage. Well, by taking them out allows us to come around. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I think you do. Because hitting her for four would get her down to eight, let's say. And why do you have advantage? Oh, so you wouldn't gain advantage if you did this. Correct. Okay. So it's four, so it's eight damage. And then you call it poison. Four, it's eight damage on both of those guys. And number four and number five they don't have any damage on them. And number five is poison. Well, if you want to get a, a way in to get around her. Well, they'll both be poisoned after. Then maybe this is what you do. I'm going to leave this up to you. Two advantage attacks. You can probably at least kill one, let's say, so you'll be able to get the Jexera on next turn. If you go early enough, you'll go before her, come around and, and hit her. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to do 12 damage again. No, but between the Brute... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Are these the only cards in your hand? Yes. These are the so you're going to have to short rest? Yes. So you only have one more turn after this? Yes. Yes. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yep. Only one more time. With her. Yeah. Ebenezer is probably, I think Ebenezer should short rest too. Because he only has two cards. Does she happen to have a, a, a jump card by any chance? No. Okay, so she can't get to Jexera next turn whatsoever. Uh. It, unless you clear a path. Unless I clear a path, yeah. All right, well, there's your answer. One, two, three, four, five. Even then, I'm not going to be able to attack her. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. This guy has to die. Or I can't get to her. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think you have to, I think you have to clear the path. Okay. So you doing, starting with that guy? Start with that guy, who is already poisoned. Okay. Okay, so I'm gaining advantage on my attacks. Oh, Jack's raw. Oh. And you're hitting and both? And I'm doing, um, yeah, yeah, with a battle axe. You're hitting both of them. Yeah. All right, so the first one's eight damage with advantage. Poison. Oh, yeah, I would have pulled it. You would have done wrong. eight damage to her. I would have done... No, because it's times two. Yeah, well, you would have done this. Eight, two, oh. the range attack. So I am now killing both of them. Well, this guy dies. Yes. And it's... Can we figure out how much I did to him? Well, you, you have, this is for the first guy. You have to pull for the second right. guy. Right. No, no. Mm. Well, what's the advantage? This was the this, one... This is all one attack. And now I have to pull the second. Okay, yes. For the first guy. Yes. Wow, you were lined up to kill Jexera. If she didn't back up, she was she done was for. Dead. Okay, so the first okay, guy. Can is we calculate dead. how much? Okay. So he has 10 health. I killed him for 8 times 2, 16. So, yes, I completed my check mark. Good job. Okay. Okay. Now, the second guy. Second guy, that comes out. Thank you. I don't want to get rid of it. Second guy, poison. Poisoned. Poisoned. Plus one. Okay, so, this is still one. one. Yeah, but it's still draw. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, you were the, the, you were the Jexera Slayer. Okay, so that's one attack. You with a Jack Sarah. Wow. I'm short resting. Wow, we have this is our last turn to kill her. The last boss we fought, fight wasn't bad at all, right? This is really coming down to the wire. This is the opposite of the last. <laughs> yeah. Uh okay. You use your Dark Pendant to get your potion back, but we had to shuffle a curse card into your deck. Yes. That's kind of so scary. So Ebenezer's newly shuffled. She's, She's newly shuffled because she pulled times two. My mage is, is shuffled. This is the scoundrel's last turn. Right. Before you become exhausted, exhausted. And then you just stand there and people beat you up. Yes. So we have to... Our goal is to defeat, obviously, Jexera this turn. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's... And I got... Okay, let's see what happens. I have a 27. And a navy 3. I have... A 4. And a 9. Living Bones. They attacked a lot. 81. Living Corpse. 66. Checks her off. 79. Her special one. So I think everyone goes but Morgana. Before her. Before her. Okay. Okay. Wow. Th okay. This is it. Can we defeat Jexera? You go first. My hands are freezing. Oh my gosh, they are. Okay, I'm going to move five. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, cat. If, if She's you... poisoned. Yes. And I get to uh, Venom Shiv. Tried and true, number one card from the beginning. Attack three. I added a plus one with 50 gold to her. 
And my helmet four. gives me an helmet. attack five. Five. Come on. Attack five. And she's poisoned. Twelve health left. Poisoned. Six. Six. One with the poison. Seven. seven. Yes. Okay. You just can't draw the misses. Can't draw the misses. But that was a good, that was a good start. That's great. Okay. Five left. Gives me... Okay. Okay. She does what she does best. Okay. Moves Jessica. really far. Attacks really hard. Came around the corner there. She tried to jump back and get some range attacks in and you're like... I'm faster than she is. Well, you came out of invisibility. You hacked through two of her minions. They didn't know what happened. My years on the cross country team paid off. You came running around, took out that shiv, stabbed her. Okay, in the back. can we like get to the next? I'm just kind of. We can like recap later. Picturing okay, the Ebenezer moment. using two cards that I discard this time. The first time. Okay. What do we got? Which one are we gonna do first? I'm gonna do the brain leech nut first. Okay. Which is an attack four, range four, and I heal myself for four. But, since I drank the potion of evil, I get my major power potion back, which lets me add two to my attack. Thank God it's not a melee attack. Thank God it's any attack. Yeah. So it is an attack six, range four, heal four. I'm going to heal myself four first. Yes. Let's pop back up to ten. You're like, oh, what should I use? I'm like, don't you have a card that's like a range attack? Attack six. Five. Five. Poison six. six. I think I did it. Did it? Because I forget. <laughs> I think I did it. I think, wait. Just add six. Add the six. I and don't then, Well, like, can you put six damage into that? Oh, yes, I and can. count it up. Six damage. Here we go. Okay, count. Come on. We have 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 49. Girl is dead. Yes. Okay? She is dead. Now, she, okay. it, it was really the one-two combo. It's really the one-two combo. Yes, it, it was. Now, I'm not done. Oh. I'm not done. Okay, that gave me two experience, so I'm up to 12. Wow, I wish I had that 13 card, because that would have been amazing this turn. Then, I'm going to force one normal or elite enemy within range three to perform its attack to flip-flop. So now it's, it's our ally. So I'm going to have... This guy right here. Okay. Attack. Who's not being stunned? This guy. Okay. Let's have him attack this guy. Okay. This is a corpse, right? Yep. Okay. He doesn't Because do we don't want her, him to attack her. Right. Okay. okay. Good. Um, okay, so he attacks for... He doesn't for... attack right now. On his turn, he'll attack. Yes. On his turn, he attacks. That gives me two more experience. Wow. I'm at 14 experience. Okay. Uh, Turok is up next. He's going to do his move for stun, target so all adjacent enemies. Number six. So he's not going to move at all. He could go get some money. Ho, 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 ho. I see how it is. Actually, he is going to go get some money. Because guess what? The living bones don't move. So they're not hitting anybody. So I'll move over here, get this gold, stun these two jokesters. Oh. Make some money off of that. That gets discarded. And then I'm going to throw a dagger at Here. Jetsura, who's dead already. For two more damage! Why did you... Okay. I wanted to throw it at her body. I threw it up in the air, and it landed. Okay. And then I'm going to summon my skeleton. For experience. Nope, just because I wanted to bring it. I said, oh. look who's the necromancer now. I threw that dagger and summoned a skeleton. That was pretty... That's like a, a movie moment. Well, you definitely have an, the sexy I, bad bad I, chick. I gained an experience. I was like, look, you could have... You were waiting for me to turn. Oh I my was God. waiting okay. for you to turn. Okay, let's to go. To a good side. Let's... Okay. Okay, I want to know what we get. Okay. All right, Living Bones, they go next. They can't attack anybody. They don't move. Uh, boss, oh, she's dead. Uh, oh, actually, the Living Corpses go next. So they're both stunned. And so she's going to attack. One, yep, attacks that. So, so pulls from her back, five, I assume. Nothing. <laughs> and then here we go. Morgana. She's going to heal 
someone for three. Actually... Can she heal Torak? Sure, she'll heal Torak for three. Yeah. Here you go, love bug. Don't worry about Jexara. Jexara, I'm still here for you. Then she's going to jump eight spaces, really ten because of the boots, and fly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to put look the other room. Listen, there's a... I'll show you. There's a treasure I'll chest. show you. Right there. I'm just going to jump over these living corpses, which... I'm going to give you a... A little secret here, let you in on a little secret. He plans the treasure before anything else. Right, like, I gotta make sure I get it. am I gonna have her, even though she's gonna retire soon. I gotta make sure I get this chest. Her so get the treasure chest. Right on there. These living corpses don't know what's going on because then I pop my invisibility so they can't attack me. Yep. And I get that treasure chest. Well, I'm gonna let you read the treasure because I'm gonna read the oh. end of the story. Oh, okay, all right, 60. And then we win. That's it. And Torok leaves us. I don't know. The versatile dagger. Item 40. Oh, that's going to one of mine. Even though we only gained... Oh, Ebenezer gained 9 gold. Okay. But. And that's weird. Again, I don't know if the dagger has to go to Morgana. I don't know. Okay. Better not. I think it does. Uh, first side, uh, item 20. Okay. Conclusion. Jexara collapses, the life fleeing from her eyes. I, she whispers at you. Should have been with you, Tarak. You have no idea what's coming. Location 28. Please, you already knew that. You read it, I'm sure. With more, with one more hack, of your blade. Oh, that was me oh throwing that dagger. I'm not sure I can read this. That was me throwing my dagger, right? Please send your children out of the room for this. You separate her head from her body and hastily leave the wretched place full of mangled corpses. You return the head to the captain of the guard. No, do not do that. Oh. Yes, thank you. Thank you. This is, yeah, please don't. Please don't do that with the head. Don't do that with the head. Okay. And are paid handsomely for the bounty on her. If you're interested, I may have some more work for you, he says grimly. First of all, we've had reports from northern scouts of sightings of a large flying creature. <laughs> okay, okay. They're afraid of dragons. He shakes his head in annoyance. I'd like you to head to the Northern Passage and investigate location 16. Okay. Closer to home, however, there is some trouble brewing in the sewers oh, below yeah. the sinking market. The wells in the area seem to be poisoned, and the sewers uh, have become infested. Firmly. He, no, he's not going to want to go here now. With snakes. And sentient slimes. Oh, making Oh, you, you don't like spiders. I don't like snakes. Uh, making further investigation difficult. I need you to discover the source of the poison. Location 18. My wow. mind is blown. Three new because locations. Because I can't even fathom how many... Our original locations that we could still do. Yes. So, 18 is called the Abandoned Sewers. Okay. Okay. The one where the dragon is, is called the Mountain Pass. Okay. Okay, and then the one with... You don't know what's coming. Jexera is called Outer Ritual Chamber. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We get... Okay, I'm ready. Now, do you know this? No. You're such a liar. You've looked, I'm sure. No. Okay, well, I'm excited. There's three things. 20 gold each. Oh, bam. Two reputation. Yes. And one prosperity. Oh, that gets us to level three. Mm -hmm. New items and a reputation. Oh my god. Our reputation goes to plus ten. That's an unlock. It is? Yep. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Okay, can we do that right now? Uh we have so many unlocks right now. Well, let's cut it. Let's let's clean things up. We've got Tur Bur Turok Turok the Brute. 
He's so excited he can't even get it out. I don't out. know what's going to happen. I have but no idea. But it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. So, no okay, let's happen. clean up. Let's get all the unlocks out and the stickers on the yep, board. Yep, 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 yep. You guys, this is this is a really good. This is a really good. That was close. I'm glad everybody you're with us still who's watching because... There's a, there's a lot of spoilers ahead, I'm sure. There's, that was close. That was a really crazy yeah. fight. So, Andrew Miller, don't watch if you don't want spoilers. Well, it's a little too late now. It's a little too late. <laughs> okay, here we are. There's a lot. There's a lot that's going to happen right mm -hmm. now, I'm sure. Uh, let's just cover the board real quick. So, we're at Prosperity Level 3. Mm -hmm. We unlocked the Ritual... Outer ritual. Outer ritual chamber in the Dagger Forest. We have the sewers, sewers over here in Gloomhaven. And then the Mountain Pass. Mountain Pass and Copper Neck Mountain. We've got a lot. Okay. We, we still have a bunch of side missions we can still do. Uh, we didn't get like a global achievement. I'm kind of surprised no. by killing Jexera. But. Hey, we got a lot of other things. We did. Okay. The dagger oh. in the chest. The dagger in the chest. The versatile yeah. dagger. Eh. We don't need it. Whenever you use the default top of an ability card, perform an attack three instead of two on the bottom. Eh. I thought there might be something a little bit better in Jexra's dungeon. Yeah, because I mean, Cat never uses an attack oh. two. The scout, um, the mind thief sometimes does, but Th this actually might be good for the mage because I usually have range attacks, and sometimes I don't do a range attack because I want to just punch them. With the two. So at least you have at a least three. I have three. Mm -hmm. Do Maybe. you have any weapons now? I don't. So. Okay. This would actually work for her. Okay. Okay. Uh, Every all of our characters. Oh right. So uh, he's all over the place. Ebenezer did not get his check mark. He had to walk on a trap. Didn't happen. Um, so he gained twenty four experience. I'm up to two thirty six. And he gained 29 gold. I'm um, up to 88 gold. I am definitely going to be purchasing um, upgrades for my cards back in Gloomhaven. Um, Cat, she did get her check mark, which is kill someone more than four damage and their health. Good. She got 19 experience. She's at 234. She got 23 gold. She's at 61. Okay. Morgana did not complete. She needed to keep a monster on the board the entire time. Yeah. She's at 246 experience. Wow. 275 is the next one. Yeah. Uh, she has 46 gold. And yeah. Uh, Turok, he's at 239 experience at 42 gold. Did not get his check mark. He had to kill five people. Okay. He got a phone call. He did. His cell phone well, rang. Well, after he slayed Jexera, mm -hmm. brought the head to the town, mm -hmm. he felt like his duty... Was done. With the hip point hunters. Hip Family hunter. is most important to Torak. Yep. He and is. he had to go back and... Even though this card mentions a dragon, and we just got word of a dragon, he's like, you know what, enough boss fighting for me. I'm, I'm packing it up. He's going to go home and help his sisters take care of his mom. Yes. Now, when you... The first time you retire a character, you're supposed to open up the town records. So let's start with that, because there's this whole book here of... I have no we idea. We don't know. I have no idea. We don't know. Spoilers ahead. I have no idea what's going to be in this. Greek. Congratulations on retiring your first character. Oh. I know it was hard to let them go, but retirement is a vital step in your journey through this game. Remember that. Unless told otherwise, you should add the corresponding city and road events of your retiring character and any class you have unlocked to the event decks, as detailed on page 6 and 40 of the rulebook. Oh, so his character gets to add... Yes, and I'm nice. glad they remind us here. Okay. And don't forget to add one prosperity to the city. Well, this is a great reminder. Thank you so much. So I add another prosperity. Don't, no, no, this, that, uh. I'm not allowed to touch the board. No, you are. It's just you were going to do it in pen. I'm not allowed have been to incorrect. touch the board. Oh, it's a pencil? No, no, it is a Sharpie. Okay. So the brute 
when he retires, uh, he adds, it looks like, I'm assuming that's a city card, 42 to the deck. So that's pretty cool. There's a little number right here. Maybe we'll meet again. Maybe, I don't know. In the city when he goes grocery shopping. But see, what's weird here, it says, remember that um, you should add a corresponding city and road, city and road event. So maybe it's a road event. Of um, your retiring character and any class you have unlocked. So I don't understand the character and class, but we'll see. Okay. On the opposite page, you are encouraged to document the details of all characters who retire over the course of the game. Logging the player's name, the character's name, their class, level, and number of perks. Hmm. After documenting your first retired character, feel free to turn the page and continue reading. Eventually, however, you will arrive at a yellow line that will instruct you to stop reading until certain conditions are fulfilled. Make sure you don't read anything beyond that until you fill those conditions. Okay, so I'm not going to fill it right now, but it's character, Turok, class, brute, brute level, level five. five, perks. Is that the... Um... What One, is One, two, perk? three, four, five, six, seven perks. They're all of our top check marks. Oh, okay. Let's turn the page. Okay. So obviously that is what we have. Okay. Turn the page. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Whoa. What is all... This is just a lot of text. Okay. Can you read that small? You want your glasses? I think I can read the small. I might have to... I can read this. You might have to read the other side. Okay. So you want to start some sort of record of all the mercenaries who've moved on from Gloomhaven. A short, bearded man asks with a scowl. Sounds a little arrogant to me, but I'm sure I've got a spare record book somewhere in the stacks. He puts down his pen into the spine of the book he was inking and steps out from behind the counter at the front of the town records building. I'll be back in a bit. Don't steal anything. What? He gets in one more good scowl before turning and walking towards the back of the building, nearly tipping over his overly long robe multiple times. As he slips behind one of the many shelves of books, your attention shifts to the building itself. The town records building is a large, circular structure on the west side of the coin district, built as a status symbol for the town of wealthy merchants. Anyone who actually enters can quickly see that the massive library is woefully understocked. Oh. Some sections, such as the teaching and philosophies of the Great Oak, are reasonably full, but many others have just a handful of books occupying long, barren shelves. Perhaps this was why some of your merchant friends were so adamant about you taking a trip to the town records building in the first place. Mm. Recording your party's exploits creates more content to fill these empty halls. We'll write stories about ourselves. Sure. With this in mind, your thoughts turn to the open book directly in front of you, the one the clerk was working on. There are two texts on the counter, and it looks as if the clerk was in the process of transcribing the writings of one into the other. Okay. Looking more closely, however, you notice the titles are different. The complete book is titled The Rise of Human Civilization, while the other is titled The History of Gloomhaven, by Dominic Scrim. And intrigued, you begin to read what he was writing. Okay. What we was have... he writing? At some point thousands of years ago, humans stopped hiding in caves and began to form societies out in the open, erecting modest farming villages that eventually grew into the massive sprawling cities we see today. Living out in the open was never easy, though. There were wars, both amongst themselves and with other races, such as the Valras to the south. More troubling, however, were the constant raids from the more barbaric races of the world, Enochs and Verbling tribes, who had no concept of peace and wanted only to kill and destroy. Mm. Walls were always necessary, as were the armed men who guarded those walls. For this reason, the civilization of man grew and developed under a militaristic rule. Those skilled in warfare held the highest positions in society and governed from a perspective of keeping their charges safe from outside attacks. While this regimen of strength kept the human race alive and functioning, it did stagnate the growth of other cultural facets of society. Hmm. What the civilization lacked in culture, though, it made up for with rapid expansion and settlement spreading out from the north to every corner of the continent. 
This created a strong foothold to ensure that humans would continue to prosper and never again have to go back to hiding in caves. <sighs> oh, okay, we only have a little bit more. Okay. Because there's the line. Stop reading. So, Best to start at the beginning, eh? Now he's back. He's back. He the guy's back. back, yeah. Dominic now stands before you with a small amount of leather-bound parchment. I found this in the back. It should do well for your purpose, but I see you found something as well. He shifts his feet a bit and hands you the parchment. Most people see Gloomhaven as some backwoods caravan stop. He says in an accus accus accusatory tone, A necessary evil in the middle of a deadly wilderness, but I disagree. I love Gloomhaven, and I believe its history needs to be documented. I think this town pair plays a far more important role in the history of this continent than anyone realizes, and I'm going to prove it. Dominic flashes a brief, nervous smile, and then grabs up the two books on the counter, but it's not finished yet, not by a long shot. Come back later, and I might have some more history to share. So he's the one writing the history book. Yeah. Okay, continue. Stop reading until Gloomhaven has oh. reached prosperity level three. Well, Dominic, actually, can you come back? Oh, my Because uh, we are still reading. Oh, my goodness. You will be the narrator of the book. I'll be the... Okay. You walk into the town records. I guess we leave and we come back and we're like, yeah, you know what? We're ready to We're already more. Prosperity 3. Go. You walk into the town records building and are immediately struck by how different it looks. Okay. It might just be the lighting, but there seems to be more books on the shelves and less of a, less of a scowl on Dominic's face. The short, bearded man approaches you. Apparently, we didn't retire somebody quick enough. <laughs> I know, I guess. Ah, how good of you to come, he says. No doubt to record the further exploits of your friends. I was most assuredly diverse. That's not right. No, assuredly. <laughs> I most assuredly devise of your motives when you first walked in here, but I must say that the idea has grown on me a little. Dominic slaps you on the back. Oh, jeez. Ow. Jesus. <laughs> then wanders around behind the counter. Whether you like it or not, you are becoming important fixtures of this community. Heck yes. And I am sure that I have to thank, I have you to thank, at least in some small way, for the increased number of books lining the shelves. Heck yes. He waves his arms about, his hands barely visible beneath his robe, beneath his robe's long sleeves. They're not good books, mind you, but they're books nonetheless. Plus, he says with a small smile, I've had more time to work on my own tomb. Tome. 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 Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> Dominic opens a small collection of parchment he has been working on and passes it to you. I'm still focusing on the big picture right now, but I should have more soon. I thought you might be interested in taking a look. Well, don't skip ahead like I that. I just wanted to see how far I had to read. Oh my god. Though human expansion has not always been greeted with kindness and civility by other races, currently humans are more or less at peace with their neighbors. After a costly peace treaty with the Valras to the south and an understanding with the prominent Enoch's tribes, the only main threats are the animalistic vermlings, who continue to assault human cities, sometimes for no discernible reason. Humans have mostly stayed away from Harrow territory out of fear, and the Harrows seem to return the favor. The same goes for the Sabas, who live underground in the largely uninhabitable mountainous regions in the north. Orchids and quatrils both come from far-off continents across the sea and seem far more interested in commerce and culture exchange and conquest. And so human society has certainly benefited culturally from its interaction with other races. Many of the most beautiful structures in human civilization would not be possible without the machinery of the quatrils, the elemental masters of the Savas, and the architectural design of the Valras. The meditative orchids have even influenced a number of human religions, hmm. though the followers of the Great Oak, a stringent group who believes a giant tree housed in the center of the capital watches over and protects everyone, remains unchanged. And while the human military keeps the civilization alive, it is really the commerce with the other human races, I'm sorry, with the other races that ultimately allows the civilization to flourish. It seems then 
as the wilds grew tamer, that a paradigm shift away from militaristic rule and ter towards mercantile rule was only a matter of time. Let's finish it off. Like I said, I'm still working on the broader strokes, Dominic said, but my research has been providing some interesting information. It's, not, it's all very vague at the moment, though. I need to find some better sources, not just Savas howling poems. He takes back the book and frowns. Savas writes the worst poetry. Oh, and it is incredibly hard to translate. Stop reading until Gloomhaven has reached prosperity level four. Okay. Town okay. records. So, it's, so like, it's like a history. It's a history book. Of the world. Okay. With Gloomhaven at the center. Okay. It talks about, you know, right now we're in militarist rule. It's probably going to change to, to merchandising. Merchant. Merchant. You're right. Okay. So. Okay, pretty cool. First unlock. First unlock. Okay. So, we now open. We bid for a while to Torak and wish him well and his family well. We will meet again. Now, back in the Sleeping Lion, we put up another sign that says. I don't know. This is very, this is very... Amazing exciting. fighter. This wanted. guy's called... Oh, an Orchid Doomstalker? Oh, okay, so he's the peaceful one. Great. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how nice. Oh, Whoa. he looks creepy. Oh. Probably take a the picture. The Doomstalker? His name... Let me say. His name... What? Can you want to read the back, the story of it? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, my gosh, that is tiny. You'll never be able to do that. No. The orchids are an ancient meditative race from somewhere across the Misty Sea. Oh, the first time we hear Misty Sea. Mm. Okay. They view the happenings of the world through a dedicated perspective that their thousand-year lifetimes allow. For the orchids, life is about spending the proper amount of time on thought and reflection so that the right decision can be made at the right time without hesitation. Orchid have been known to get lost in thought for years, and during this meditation, crystals will begin to slowly grow on their skins. Since orchids have little need for physical comforts and draw their sustenance from the earth, they serve little purpose in normal society. Many believe that the increased presence of orchids in Gloomhaven in recent years is evidence of an approaching catastrophe. Though most orchids have a light, live a life of meditation, there is a sect who believes that enlightenment should be achieved through hard work and not getting lost in thought for years on end. Because of its beliefs, the sects fled orchid society across the Misty Sea to build farms and raise livestock in the wilds around Gloomhaven. The wilds are still dangerous, however, and the orchid class of Doomstalkers is tasked with keeping their, these modest settlements safe. The calm mind of the orchid makes the doom stalker an excellent bow hunter. He never misses a shot. Wow. So he is our range. Range. Bro. His yeah. level one health is an eight. Okay. Okay. He will so be he's a level three. He has 12 cards. Oh, nice. So I'm going to guess that there's a lot of throwaways. There you go. This is him. He should have a name like, he kind of looks vampire-esque. Okay. Alien-esque. Okay. I don't know. Well, yet. he's the same race as uh, Morgana. Oh, he is? Orchid. She's an orchid? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, we'll oh. probably take a look at these cards, and then the first time we use him, we'll kind of explain what type of character he is on his cards, but he uh, obviously is a range archer. What's a, what's a vampire's name? Al Alucard. Vlad. Oh, Vladimir. Oh. He could be a Vladimir. He could be. He absolutely could be a Vladimir. Yeah. He's okay. got some Russian uh, heritage way back. All right. And then we'll have to get his backstory and, and how he came about and joined the... Wow. Universe. Okay. So the Misty Sea is actually the one thing we have never heard about before. And it's the one thing that's missing from the scoundrel's retirement. She has mm -hmm. to complete something. In the, there's two more regions she has to do. The Watcher Mountains and the Misty Sea before she retires. You know, I was kind of hoping that there was a way that maybe Turok came back and like something that... I'm just surprised there's not one more ruling. Like, so I get a new character. 
I guess it's just you're increasing the prosperity. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about right now. I thought there was going to be another piece of ruling. Can you slice this guy? Okay, yep. About yeah. what? About retirement? Yeah, about retirement. Well, it says we need to welcome it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's so see. So we have let's a see. sunburst. Now, before we open it, we're going to open the character sure. box? Okay. Yeah. You reveal that character. So we got this because our reputation hit level 10. So I'm guessing it might be like a good type hero. Like, friendly person. Well, it's a chick, and it looks like she has a tail. And a really big axe. Well, she's she, not a vermling. She might be a kitty cat. She might be a kitty cat. She's a val valrath. Valrath. They kept talking about the valrath, but we've never seen them. They did. I bet you she's a fighter. Whoa, she's got white hair and a lot of armor on. I bet you she's the fighter. She has 11 oh, yeah. cards and her level, well, she would be level 3. She starts with 14 health. Whoa, this might be okay. the person that replaces Turok. Yeah. And then she Vlad replaces would take Morgana. Over Morgana. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the Valrath Sunkeeper. Wow. She should be, um, what's the white hair, what's um, Halle Berry's name? Storm. Storm. Hmm. But see, that's more, Morgana should have been Storm. Because that's what her power is. She's not really going to be Storm. I don't know. Oh, this is so exciting. exciting. Okay, Valrath Sunkeeper. <sighs> Though their demon-like qualities make them feared by many, Valraths are, for the most part, well-mannered and gentle, preferring to solve problems through diplomacy rather than violence. They come from a dark and bloody heritage of genocide and warfare, and as they have become more civilized, they simply made concerted efforts to put their past behind them. Valras pride themselves on being able to interrogate themselves, integrate themselves peacefully into human society, often becoming wealthy merchants or influential politicians. Perhaps the most prideful of the Valras can be found in the sect of the Sun Keepers, those who have been trained to tap into long dormant demonic powers and harness them for the purpose of righteousness. Oh, yeah. A sun keeper goes beyond merely forsaking her heritage and instead uses it to uplift society, healing others, and rebuking evil forces. They often travel the world seeking out situations where they can demonstrate their brilliant powers. I like it. She's got horns and a tail. Like a devil. I like it. You like her? Are you like feeling her. her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? She would be my, she's like a, a righteous paladin through the dark Oh, arts, she is of. like a righteous paladin, but I always want oh, the you paladin. Like paladin. Well, oh. this is crazy because so we got these two new. And we still and have, we have the, the Tinker and Dragos. So I think it's kind of like we want to take the characters who were able to progress their, their story. You know what I mean? Like, if we're going to go fight Vermlings, then we bring the Crag guy. Because mm. he needs to beat them, you know? Maybe we we took too long to, to up our characters. I don't know. But now well, we see, got see, that's the thing. We, my two characters, there's no possible way for them to retire right now. Right. Right. I can't retire. Well, Morgana's probably going to retire, and she doesn't she doesn't unlock another character. Here. She unlocks a... A just regular a box. envelope. A regular envelope. Oh, wait, why character. is that? That's just what her thing is. Oh. Yeah, I um, envelope X. I open envelope X. Oh, okay, which is an actually envelope. So it's actually going to be quite a while before. So we've got four new characters, pretty yeah. much. And these guys are starting at a higher level than our other guys. Right. Then we we have the option to have them start higher. Oh, we have the option. You don't have to. Because if you start them lower, then you've got more time to gain experience and, and that cards. other perk. The perk. There's extra perks, like the check marks. That's the only thing. You have the time to get the extra check marks. All right. I think that is everything, because we'll take a look at the new items in the next video. The new items? Yep. Oh, if we're going to be buying anything. And then we'll oh, have we to Oh, we actually think. get new items. Yep, we do. We'll check it out in the next one when we go back to Bloomhaven. Okay. Okay. Right, right, right. I want and you we'll, to... probably, we'll probably have to start some short videos. Oh, yeah. By far. Short videos because um, we want to bang out a few. So what? Um, 
Well, we hit 70 for this one, right? We did? This one? Yeah. So now we... Yep. I, I would say let's just let's just do seventy again. Let's do seventy again. Okay, that yeah. works. Seventy. Seventy thumbs number. up. We'll do a full one, and it probably won't be anything like major, but at least you'll see some well, more new no, characters. I mean, we don't know. So, are we going to go and re before oh, we yeah, played yeah. this, we discussed what would go on after this? We're probably gonna go and retire Morgana. Retire Morgana. Do her. Do her mission. Retire her. Yeah. I think that's the next one, so it's okay. into, into the forest. Okay, so... It does say play until completion, so there might even be another path after that. So, who knows? Okay, so if we're bringing Morgana... Yep. Who is the new character you're going to be playing? Well, I might I might do the Tinker. Tinker and Craig. If we go with Morgana... Oh, oh really? wait a second. Wait a second. Really? Because there's not, there's not going to be any Vermlings in that stage. So why no. would you bring I don't Ebenezer? Know. You might want to bring somebody else. You might yeah. want to bring the Pally. Oh. The Pally, the Pally. Yeah, but see, that's the well, thing. We, we have to decide who. Right, and we have to pick their story. And we so have to pick, pick their story. So we pick their story. That's going to that's gonna de depend on who we bring. So, well, that was a very exciting episode. Uh, a lot of unlocks happened. We see that there's a town record now, so there's an overall story for this. Uh, we've unlocked two new characters. And, uh, now this is a pretty amazing um, game. Game. Sorry. Yeah. This is a yeah. This it one's is. going on the wall. I think at We're the end. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. This will be framed on the wall. We haven't played any other games in a while. But I'm okay with that. Like Mice and Mystics, right? We got really far up Mice okay. and Mystics. Do not that even get me started about all, Mice and Mystics. Do not even get me started. I ridiculously love hard Mice sometimes. and Mystics. Love it. He will not finish it with me. We're he at will the not very finish end it. of like the we beat Third, the Gloom one. Second full expansion, and then it just oh, got this one mission just got so hard. Like re, sometimes it just gets ridiculous. It's just all like I want to do is finish that, and then we can come back. Oh yeah! By the way, we started the Arkham Horror card game. You may have watched us play it. If not, check it out. It's funny too. We've got some more of those. We've got some. <laughs> we got near and far. We were going to start. Maybe we'll see. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank I know you. this is a long episode, but I think it was a good one. Jex Raz, no more. And Hit Point Hunters uh, are just growing. Saying farewell, moving on, making new friends, but keeping the old. See you next time. Thanks, guys. See you next time. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe.